Hey you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am doing a bit of a recreation of my birthday makeup. This is using slightly different products but very similar to what I did for my birthday. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, please keep watching. So as always, I'm going to start with the brows and I'm using the Smashbox Brow Pencil in the color Dark Brown. So I'm going to tell you guys as well. So I've just recently celebrated my 30th birthday. As you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram or if you have watched some of my recent videos, I talked about how I was turning 30. I was having a bit of a quiet 30th. I wasn't going to do anything too crazy, but it ended up being an amazing, amazing weekend and it was so much more than I could have imagined. I'm not a party girl. I don't do birthdays. I don't do parties or anything like that. Literally ever. Literally do not have birthday parties. Didn't have an 18th, didn't have a 21st. Not interested, just not who I am. So turning 30 was a little daunting for me, but absolutely something I didn't want to celebrate. So all I had planned to do was have my parents come up. They live in the country. They were going to come up to Brisbane and have a birthday dinner with me at Moomoo's, which is this really amazing steak restaurant here. And they came up and it was incredible. The food was amazing. The night was awesome. The cocktails were great. The waiter was awesome. It was really great. I couldn't have wished for a better family birthday dinner. But the night before the birthday dinner, my husband gave me my birthday present early. It was something that I had wanted. He said that he wanted to give it to me early just because he he wanted over the weekend, over the, my actual birthday weekend, so my birthday was on the Monday. He wanted to, over the weekend, let me add to my birthday present, which was this amazing seahorse tank you can see behind me. I thought it very fitting to film here today just so that you guys can see my amazing birthday present and there's some birthday flowers that I did get. So I have wanted a seahorse tank for months, months and months and months and months. In fact, I would go as far to say years. When I was a little girl, all I ever wanted was a seahorse tank. My mum would never let me because it was too high maintenance. And in all honesty, now as a grown up, seeing the maintenance of this tank, it is not for children. You definitely need to be an adult to maintain one of these bad boys. So unfortunately, the water is not ready to have seahorses yet. I have three starfish, which I will show you guys what they look like up close. I've got three starfish and two clownfish in there just pHing the water and getting it to a perfect stable level. At the moment it is not ready to have seahorses. Hopefully by this weekend the water is stable enough and then we can add our seahorses to it but just right now it's not ready. But it was so fun going shopping, buying all of the corals, having the most amazing aquarium trips, seeing what you can get out there you guys. It's incredible like you can get so many crazy corals but a lot of them aren't seahorse friendly so I had to be really, really careful with what I got. Really exciting today. I'm going to be using the Ariel brushes. So I did get this brush set for my birthday. I got it early, so I wasn't able to use it, but now my birthday has done and dusted. I'm going to use this bad boy. The packaging on these brushes, Lord almighty. You guys, I've been dying to use this brush set. Absolutely dying, so I'm so excited. So with the A19 brush, with the flat side, I'm just going to go in with some Maybelline instant age rewind which is close to my foundation color this is in the color medium and I'm going to carve out the top of my brow so as I was saying the corals and all of the seahorse and all of the fish and all of the bits and bobs that you can get for your tank are incredible I was so excited to finally get my tank up and running I will keep you guys posted with my seahorse progress, how they're going, when I get them. And you guys, I'm not too scared to bring this product up a bit higher because it just means that I don't have to get as close to my brow when I'm using my foundation. But let me tell you, this brush is so soft on my skin, probably the softest brush I've ever used. And it's not soaking up the product. It's actually just letting the product just glide onto my skin. I feel like I've actually grabbed too much product for this brush because it hasn't soaked any of it up. Like, you know how normal brushes will hold a little bit of product. This is not at all, not even in 1%. Using the other side of the A19 brush, I'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind now in the lighter color, in the color Fair, and I'm just going to carve out the bottom of that brow. 
that was the Friday night, Saturday and Saturday night. And then on the Sunday, we got two more starfish and some more corals. And we actually got this blue light that you can see, which makes all of the corals really, really neon. Um, you can't actually just keep corals in normal aquarium light. They need to have a special reef light, which is what this guy is now. This is a special reef light, which was a mozza, but totally worth it because it's going to keep our reef and our and our seahorses really really healthy and we're going to be able to have that neon glow throughout throughout the tank which is just amazing so i just bring that concealer down and it acts as a bit of a primer for the lid while carving out that brow perfectly on the sunday night after we'd done so much running around and just craziness getting the tank all set up my husband then did this amazing outdoor dinner for me he did this outdoor theater and this outdoor dinner it was a absolutely ridiculous. I will show you guys what that looks like as well. It was so romantic, so beautiful. I will have you know, June in Australia is winter, so it was freaking freezing, but it was absolutely gorgeous. It was really, really sweet. We ended up staying outside for the entire movie. We were so snugged up. It was so great. We ended up getting my favorite pasta and pizza for dinner, which was great. I didn't have to cook, but we had this beautiful dinner setting. It was so lovely. Just going in with the the elf luminous putty primer and actually such a funny story so while we were down there we had had our dinner it took him a long time to set it up which was just amazing like the bed the everything it took him so long to set up and we had our dinner it was probably only oh, an hour at maximum that the bed was left on its own by the time that we had gotten in by the time that we had gotten in the bed there was already a baby huntsman spider if you live in Australia you know these grow massive so it was this baby huntsman spider. It was crawling up between the two of us. We were cuddling and my husband could feel it crawling up his chest and on my back. And he, we both just totally freaked out and had to squash this spider. It was very, very terrifying. But then we both ended up getting the heebie-jeebies. So every time you felt something, you were kind of like totally attacked. Using the brush, the A24 brush, I'm going to go in with the NARS foundation in the color Barcelona. This is my original OG foundation. So yeah, if you know everything in Australia tries to kill you, P.S. This brush, oh my God, the feeling on your skin, holy incredible. Again, so much product. It is not soaking up any of that product and it's very flawless. So it's leaving a very flawless finish. Usually when you apply foundation with a brush, you will get brush strokes and I nine out of 10 times will go over the application with a beauty blender because because of the strokes that it will leave but this is not even leaving any strokes at all it is actually still so flawless and seamless wow so yeah like i was saying literally everything in australia wants to kill you eat you poison you sting you so when you see a spider in australia you don't just take it lightly because they usually don't have great intentions huntsmen's fortunately aren't poisonous but their bites hurt wow you guys i cannot get over this brush i cannot get over the seamless application and it's so soft on my face sometimes the brushes the current kabuki brush that i have which i actually love and it is a morphe brush as well but it is starting to get to the point i have had it for a long time and it is starting to get to the point where it's kind of as i am applying my foundation i'm starting to find that it is a little bit harsh on my skin but this oh i literally don't need to go over this with a with a beauty blender at all this is just ridiculous ridiculous so just using the same highlight shade and just cutting out that eye so that's all i do for my eyes now i used to do this massive v like i've told you guys i don't do that anymore i find that i actually don't need to And this is the Ariel sponge and it is really, really soft as well. Oh, again, it's not really soaking up a lot of that product. And then on the Monday, I, I wanted to initially go to Byron Bay and go to Crystal Castle and have some lunch on the beach and just spend the day down at Byron. I love it down there. It's really, really gorgeous. Probably one of my favorite places, but unfortunately with COVID, 
the borders were closed so Queenslanders could not go into I think we could go into New South Wales but we couldn't get back and I couldn't risk coming back and having to hotel quarantine for 14 days so we couldn't actually go you guys this beauty blender oh my god I can't believe I had so much self-restraint just to not use these guys before my birthday these are incredible oh my god I'm just going to set that quickly with the Laura Mercier translucent powder so as COVID messes everyone up it messed up my plans to go down to Byron but instead I decided to go to the Sunshine Coast and go to Australia Zoo which I love animals if you know me you know I'm obsessed with animals and while that is baking I'm going to get into my eyes I'm using the Avani Cross Morphe palette I got this for my birthday as well so I'm actually going to get into this palette and I'm going to start with the color I cry which is this really beautiful corally orange and I'm going to use the A20 eye brush so we had a little bit of a late start on the Monday up to the zoo which was fine we had to stop off and get a few things we ended up having my husband ended up doing this beautiful morning for me so he kept me in our bedroom for the morning and he set up this rose petal path through to our bath set the whole bath up with rose petals had presents on the chair and and it was this gorgeous gorgeous like serenade of rose petals and a relaxation bath to start my birthday morning it was gorgeous it was next level i swear he's just the sweetest so i'm just putting this color all over my lid as a nice strong base so then by the time that we had gotten up to the zoo it was a little bit later but let me tell you it was totally fine it was so worth it the time that we got there was actually the time of the koala cuddles and that was the main thing i wanted to do was cuddle the koalas i love koalas i reckon they're just like the cutest things ever so that's the main thing i wanted to do so i did end up getting my koala cuddle which was absolutely magic and then we went on to feeding the kangaroos which was so incredible they held our hands while we fed them it was so beautiful and then we went and saw the tigers and and the giraffes so i got to see everything i wanted to see and it was an amazing day it was a huge day it was an absolute giant day we had a picnic on the grass there. We ended up having this beautiful picnic just like in the middle of the zoo on the grass. It was a little bit cold, I won't lie. It was probably about 15 degrees. So for Queenslanders, that's really, really cold. It was quite bitey for us, but we ended up just having the best day ever. I loved it. I had the best birthday of my life. Just using the larger fluffy brush now, the A11 brush, I'm going to go in with the color Antony, which is this, which is this chocolate brown. And I'm just going to do the outer and upper of my eye. Oh, these brushes are just delicious. So yeah, so then the Monday night we came home. All I wanted for dinner again was pizza. Guess my favorite food at the moment. We had pizza. I had pizza. My husband is on a pretty strict diet, so he could really barely go out of his normal meals. He only could have like little bits and pieces of what I was sort of having. He did eat on the Saturday night at the restaurant, but that was just like steak, which is quite fine. But he couldn't have like a lot of the naughty foods that I was having over the weekend. So we ended up having pizza and a scary movie in bed, which is exactly what I wanted to do. And then continuing through the week, I've had some amazing gifts arrive, which has been just the love I've been showing this birthday has been amazing. I swear, everyone said to me, when you get to your 30s, you will realize what is important, who is important, and what you want to spend your energy and time on. I actually honestly see that through this birthday, like who is important, what is important, and what I really do want to put energy into. I posted a meme a few days ago which said, I no longer pour into cups, family, friends, associates that no longer pour into mine. That is so true. I'm kind of at that point now. I've been married for a few years. I've been, you know, in and out of states, work, jobs. I've always focused on my career. I feel like I'm finally really settled in my life. I feel really, really confident and really settled with who I am. So I'm really happy with where I am 
in my life I don't really want to waste time on anything anymore I'm just yeah I, it's so strange it's like you literally do have an epiphany when you turn 30 I swear so I'm just using the elf camo concealer now this is in the color light beige and I'm actually going to go back in with that first a19 brush with the curved side and I'm actually just going to carve out a really tiny cut crease The control that this brush has, good lord. Now I'm not going to do a full crease, I'm only doing a half because I still want that blend, that chocolate blend to come through. So one of the things that I got given from my parents was a beauty bed and a stool for my eyelashes. I cannot wait to set it up. I actually have taken this week off so so I'm filming some content this week just so that I've got some great YouTube content and Instagram content and then I just kind of wanted to reset. I just wanted to take some time, reset, just really like embrace 30 and just become me again. I think it's been a really stressful year. It's been a really stressful few years with COVID and everything for everybody. So I just wanted to take some time, reset, just get myself just centered. So I've been doing heaps of house stuff that I've wanted to do for so long that you just never get around to. I've done heaps of organizing. I'm filming heaps of content and just going in with the pop of glitter now. This is the color fishy. I'm actually just going to do this with my finger and I'm just going to press it over that crease that I've just created. It is so pigmented too. This palette is beautiful and you can see how it just blends into that brown. So that's why I didn't want to do a full crease because I still wanted that lighter blend out of the glitter. Sometimes I find applying with your finger to be the best and sometimes I find a brush. So there is no right or wrong in that regard. It's just whatever you guys prefer and find easier. I think with glitters and really high pigments, I find it's a little easier with my finger because I can sort of control the color a little easier, but you can just see how absolutely stunning that is. I'm just going to dust away now and get rid of this bake. I'm just going to slowly get that off of the face. And now that I've done my eyes, that baking under the eyes can actually go. You sort of leave it there when you are doing your eyes in case there are any fallout. Just leaving me nice and baked and snatched. So going in now with the A18 brush, I'm going to go in with the same color Antony, that chocolate brown color, and I'm just going to line underneath my eyes. Just very close to the waterline. And this brush is really good to control how much product actually goes on under the eyes and just has that seamless connection between both top lid and under eye. You very rarely get small brushes like this. They're usually a lot bigger, but this one is perfect for control and for waterlining. Now going in with the Dior Waterproof Eyeliner Pencil. This is in the color run intense and it is a really nice brown color. I'm actually going to line my top waterline with this and my inner waterline. So as you can see, I've already put on false lashes and mascara on the top. This will just make that connection between the false lash, the natural lash and the eye seamless. And there is a smudger on the end of this eyeliner. So if you aren't going to do sort of what I've just done before with the shadow, you can actually do it with this. I did this on a look I did yesterday and it looked really great. And you can see that the connection between the top and the waterline is just this one seamless cat eye. Now just going in with some mascara for my bottom lashes. And I'm going to go in and finish off my foundation with some powder foundation. So at the moment I'm using the e.l.f. Cosmetics Sheer Tint Finishing Powder. I use it in two colors. I use it in fair light and light medium. And I just go over my foundation where my highlight and contour is. And I just really tighten up that foundation. So going in now with the A22 brush, which is a beautiful pressed foundation brush. You can really use these brushes for anything. This is just going to be my powder foundation brush and trust me when I tell you this foundation will not move all day. I'm then now going in with the darker 
And these two colors work really nicely together. They don't have like a massive separation between the light and the dark. So you have these lines between your face. So you can really concentrate when you're doing your bronzer and your blush to have your lines. These just really complement each other so nicely. I'm just bringing that up into my hairline a little. And I do bring this foundation, the pressed foundation down into my neck. It's same where I put my liquid foundation, just because it gives it that sort of top to finish and it sort of just sets the foundation in place so it's not so movable. So for bronzer, I'm going to go in with the Tarte bronzer. This is in the Park Ave Princess. And I'm going to go in with the A3.2 brush and I'm just going to bronze where I would naturally cream contour and just bring that up into the hairline a little there's nothing worse than having a really bright white hairline and then your foundation color and then with the same bronzer but a smaller brush this is the a14 brush I'm going to go in and just do the bridge of my nose again exactly the same places where I would if I was doing a cream contour now the product we have all been waiting to see which is the Dior backstage blush this is in the color rosy glow this is the ever elusive Dior blush this has gone crazy people have sold out I'm pretty certain all of Australia has sold out this guy has been absolutely talked about people are saying that this is the blush that Ariel uses on Kylie Jenner it is not Ariel has cleaned up those claims he does not use this blush never has however it is an amazing blush I have used it before it is really really nice so I'm going to use it for today's video just because it is all the rage at the moment and you can see it is a really really neon pink and the pressing of the powder is the pressing of the powder is gorgeous so using the RL brush, the A21 brush, I'm just going to pop these guys. So blush is the first thing to fade when you guys are doing your makeup. Don't be afraid to use blush and in heavy portions because it will fade out. There are techniques that you can do to keep your blush on longer, which is applying cream blush under your powder blush. I've not done that for today's look, but I will do that in one of my next videos. But you can see that that is such a rosy neon pink. It looks so cute. I'm just going to do a little bit on the tip of my nose. And then for lips, in honor of talking about my birthday today, I'm going to be using the same red lipstick that I did for my birthday, which is the Carly Bible Cross Il Maquillage Duo. So this is in the lip liner Blaze, and the lipstick is the Venus Lipstick. This is the only red lipstick that I can use that does not bleed. Peel off halfway through the night. This collection between Carly and Il Maquillage has just become available again. I don't know if it's sold out. It did sell out last time, you guys. I stocked up, but I definitely recommend if it is still on sale, this is not to be snoozed on. So obviously with different hair and a slightly different eyeshadow palette, this is pretty identical to the birthday makeup that I did create. So this is a nice gentle recreation of my birthday look in honor of talking about my birthday today and just doing a get ready with me. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you on my next video.